Hi everybody. So we're still at the Van Life uh, and Outlander Festival, um, and it's absolutely pouring down rain. So what better time to do a bit of an update, like we said, and show you a bit of a van tour. So far, bear so in far. mind we haven't finished. Work in progress. It's that never-ending list, isn't it? That you tick one off and another one appears. Isn't it? So we're at the cab area. So this is our escape hatch. And um, well, we needed something because you don't know where, if you're in the middle of anywhere and you get uh, something happen, you need to be able to get into that cab quick. So we made a door and it leads into the cab area. And on the side of our front door is we've got our traveling books and bits and pieces. And then you'll have to skip, we're at the van festival and so at the moment I've got some stuff in the front that's for sale, <laughs> like my guitar and some stuff that we make, but that's what we've done so far. We have stickers where we collect at the top on the roof. And then I don't know if Steve can actually pan it around and then you can see that we just, we've just dressed it with some throws at the moment. And you can see that this is Patch's favorite little spot. This is where he likes to hang out. So the door is mainly open a lot. <coughs> so when he's in the front, so he can see us. So up here we've got another little cupboard, storage space. At the moment we've just got throws and some tea towels. And we will have a cupboard up here that matches this. So it's just one like one front door sort of thing. And then here we have this is our wardrobe area with our electric system and our toilet system. Which is just the basic toilet that we use. Um and the glass bowl. Yeah, and the gas bottles down there as well. So that's in these little, these open up like that. We don't need to see the mess and our beats and stuff so far. And then we've got big cupboards that do this. And then above here, we will have a shelf. Let's just let Pat get upset. So then we will have a shelf that goes across there eventually. These doors will be filled in to go with this. We're not sure how we're going to do that, or we might do some sort of pattern that's different. So we've got our light switch at the door, so when we come in, we can just do that. Um, just basic 12 watts down lights that we've decorated with an upcycled and old wind chime. And then, um, so we've got five of these, and we will eventually have two. Apparently, we've got four of these. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to have one here, one here for the kitchen area. So the kitchen area, again with the cupboards, um, we've just got the skeleton bones a bit done. We've got the doors to do. Again, the same with this side. And so the kitchen area, we, as you have seen on our pre previous videos, we've made our rainy tops. We then have our tile stickers. These are actual stickers. And then with our windows, again, we haven't quite finished those. So what we do at night time is we've got a really nice throw and we just use clips that on both sides, same material, blocks it out, but at the same time makes it really pretty. So it's all about looking pretty. So we've just got two gas hobs, works well for us. And our oven was free on Facebook market and we spray painted it. Had to get another clip for that side, but basically that was it. Drawers recycled. So we've got books in there. 12, uh, 20, 240 volt normal domestic fridge freezer. So, we get ice cream, 
recycled doors again that we spray painted the symbols onto, shelving, food, that's the water system. So we have a 30 litre water container for our fresh water and then I think that's a 10 litre wastewater. This here is a recycled jam pan that we found again on Facebook market. But we bought this off a guy on the internet called guy. the Tap Guy. So, and again, this was all made by Steve, and then we've sanded it down, varnished it. Same system with the windows. We put the windows in. Steve did all the windows, but I did one because I wanted to say I did one. Again, we have electrical sockets, so we've got two of those. We've got USB here. We've got a USB there. I don't know if we're going to have any more anywhere else. We may do. We've got electrics for our lights there to go. And we've got to have some bedroom ones done over there as well. So then, I think I've done everything in the kitchen area. Like I said, these doors will be done. Again, recycled. This is from the same chest of drawers that my son used to have in his bedroom. Again. The knobs we just recently purchased off eBay, which we absolutely love. So we've got the, these knobs. These knobs again will be going up onto our top kitchen units. And while we're down there, we've got our floor is vinyl that we got from the Weaver store. And it was quite a bit of money, but it was the one we wanted and we knew we wanted that one. So it was worth paying that extra bit of money. Um, so I've forgotten a few things, so we won't. So the tap is just the push button. And it's as simple as that, it's so cool. Um, our kettle, again, we're going with this copper theme because we love it. This is the best bargain ever. This was Facebook market, 20 pounds, I believe. Like, that is ours. And then all the copper came basically is fitting around that. Um, <clears throat> we do have one of these coffee things that every bar knifer seems to have, but I think we've used it a couple of times. Do you only get like a little bit? Yeah, so um, there is a carbon monoxide alarm system, because if you haven't got one, you really should have one. And then our, obviously our fan. So, and it just goes get up and then you've got your high your medium and there's a slow version and then if you turn it the other way you've then got your normal fan if on a hot day you've got a window open so you get that circulation of cool fresh air and this is a must while you're cooking because I switched off, I can't see, fuck all. Hang on, let me get my glasses on. That's it. And at night time, because we haven't actually, I'm gonna shut it because it's raining, like we said. At night time, at the moment, what I do is, is I get a cushion and I push it in because we haven't got anything to blacken it out. But it works, it works for us and it looks good, so. I think that's everything else in the kitchen. I haven't forgotten. Flask. Normal. Oh yeah, flask. So we don't have a hot water system because we're dirty hippies. So best wash. No, I'm lying. Wet wipes and you can go to a shower. We all know where we can shower and stuff. So we invested in this while we used to wild camping or just after we did wild camping. Mm -hmm. And I think it was something like 34, 35 pounds from Argos. And it's just the thermos flask, really. And we fill it up with hot, hot, hot water. Um, every time we get up in the morning, we fill the kettle up and we make our coffees. We then fill this up. I'm not sure how many litres it holds. Do you know, Steve? Mm -hmm. It's it a big in. one. It lasts us all day. Um, it's on a swivel thing. It locks, so it's locked, and then you just turn that and it opens. That's our hot water system. So 
it gives us coffee throughout the day so you're saving on your gas um it gives us um hot water for when we wash it or we want to have a wash or we need to do any cleaning or something and that the whole of that will last us all day and then we repeat the cycle again the next day so it's and we tested the first time we tested it the hot water stayed boiling enough for a nice hot cup of coffee I believe it was something like 30 odd hours mm. so if you haven't got one and you haven't got a hot water system get one it's well good so then we come to the bedding sitting sleeping area whatever you want to call it by now so this is our table which again steve made this again he does all these wavy edges on everything that you see and then we just stain it give it a coat of oil we have mentioned the oil we've used because it's the same one um that we've used when we did our kitchen tops so what we do with this is it just comes off this is where like doesn't come off it just trickles off it's very light and then at night time that goes into our bed but you'll see the our routine of how we make our bed so then that just slots in and again when we want to light down it's like we're, we're at an age now we're like an afternoon kit so this will come off we'll go over there and then both of us can just stretch out and watch a dvd uh youtube or whatever eventually we're gonna have a tv over where that socket is so then that's how this is all worked out um our pews at the end which again was steve's idea and he made these i believe with a friend from work i think they did it at work yep. so and um you'll see what's on the other side of this pew once we open the back doors to show you that but we're going to do that later because it's pissing down again we've got the portal windows which again this has to be all done we haven't finished this these open and these we put on because we're really into the raven and remix simples and stuff um so again our light that we fixed on came from the house and matches the the lamp um, before we had this table, he had to be very careful because Steve kept slacking his head in it. So we took it off while we were working. And then we've just got our normal cladding that we've followed through all the way through the van. And eventually, here, going across all the way on both sides, will be open shelves with a little cupboard drawer that side. And the same for that side and here we'll have our this is where our plants will go books and little ornaments sort of things and pictures and stuff so um oh yeah we've got our skylight now we chose this one because we're both stargazers and we love the moon so we're gonna get wet when the bed's out we can get up i'm gonna close it because i'm getting wet so um, once the bed's out, and it's a super king size bed once it's all light. So there's plenty of space and the dogs have plenty of room and we've got plenty of room. And... So we chose this and it's not the wrong way as some people like to say, it's the right way for us. So then when we are lying in bed, because we lie with our heads up this way, we can look out at the sky. We've seen some beautiful skies. We saw a shooting star once as well. I can't mm -hmm. remember where the destination was. I think it was like a castle rig, something like that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And we were just there and then we saw the shooting star. And we do get out of here and we are nosy and we take a lot of photos from this angle. So when we have it open and it's hot, we've got the fly screen, stop the bugs coming in. And then at night time, just completely black side so we can turn these lights off now save our solar so talking about solar we have two solar panels each one is 110 no. 100 watts yep. um so we've got two of those so that's 200 watts of electricity 
and we have three wet batteries each one is 110, 110. So amp hours amp hours so that's 330 that we've got we have a inverter a 2000 watt inverter which powers basically the fridge freezer and a couple of the sockets well both sockets uh, we only use the sockets so probably once a day at the moment for yeah. air straighteners yeah, maybe in the evening I might put the lamp on, but we've got, um, used our fairy lights, which you can't see. Mm -hmm. And they've, uh, they're on a very thin copper wire. It's, again, it's all the copper with our, when we get our shelf in, it'll have a copper bar going across. So our fairy lights just are USB, which will stick in here. And then we're set to just a normal sort of system. And again, when we do our night evening routine, you'll see the full effect of that. And they have a di different system, which is dimmable, like a Christmas tree, but we don't like the flash in. Steve's moaning at me because apparently I'm moving too fast for everybody and they can't keep up with me. <laughs> and now he doesn't like it because I've said that. Stop pulling that face! What face? I'm staring at the camera. Stop picking nose on camera. <laughs> uh, right, so I think that is <coughs> probably <coughs> the inside of our van explains. Like I said, we do have a lot more to do. It's those little bits. We do have um internet thing that we need to also put up on the roof. Mm -hmm. We've got a Puck, I think that's called. What's a puck? It's your yeah, antenna, yeah. and which will then go onto our router, which is a SIM router. Um, we'll get a SIM card, put that in, and then that should give us what well, potential packetry by for a SIM card. Yeah, so that we can always have our internet, so that our family can get hold of us if ever needed. Um, that's it. And we'll yeah, the, cush the, the cushions, oh. I'd just like to say, if you haven't seen our video, the cushions are actually made out of uh, one double and one single mattress, proper mattress that we got from B&Q. Pretty cheap. Can you remember the price? At all, For the double mattress, because it's a foam mattress, so you can cut it size easy enough. Uh, that was £75. Um, cause that's all we needed originally, yeah. but then we decided we couldn't sleep sideways because it didn't quite work, so we've changed the idea. And then to get an additional single, I think it costs forty pounds. Yeah, it was it was about that. It was very cheap. So then uh, Steve, uh, we've done a video on that where Steve has cut it and made it. We had to extend all this, and this again is all storage. So this is all storage, and yeah, they're very heavy, so I'm not gonna lift them up. I've done my back here and stuff, so. This is all storage. Again, it's same, mirrors the same over here. Our bedding goes in there. And the seat cushions. We went to a little material shop in Cheltenham. in Cheltenham, Gloucestershire, and got a really good bargain. So this material, um, it's proper upholstery material, so it's quite expensive, but we got the whole roll for quite, it was cheap. I think it was like 40 quid or something, wasn't it? Maybe less. It was just enough material to make these. And then we bought this material because we thought the diff the different colours was a good effect. And then Steve's mum, bless her, um, she made the cushion covers for us. So they do have like a underneath this, they've got a zip so we can take them off and clean them. And the mattresses also have a protective cover of them that you can take off and wash if need be. So this is our bedding area. And like I said, it's a um, double king size no it's a, almost a super king size just bed. under yeah just under so it's, it's massive plenty of room and then at night time where the winter loves being under there he'll go on the bed but we put a dog bed under there and that's his little cubby space patch is definitely on the bed at night time he's in there in the day but he's there at night and so we will show you our nighttime routine
and then we're going to show you the outside of what we've done with the van and what we are going to do with the van um i, I think that's about it i don't think there's anything else we need to say oh, we mentioned that we're going to have some lights here one on each side um i think i think that's it is it so this is the outside of Luna. She's a Volkswagen LT35. Uh, we've got obviously matte black on the bonnet and on the roof with our symbol. We've got the normal steel wheels with just some black hubcaps for now until we decide what we're going to do. We might go down the road again with nice alloys and nice off-road wheels but we don't know yet that's the side window which opens and that's the kitchen area which is in a the entire van so you can see it is in uh, nato green she was originally white and we called her luna and then when we painted her the nato green she became luna the green goddess. So the back doors, we've got two portholes and they have ravens in, can't really see very well. Let's have a look through, open the door so you can see better. Ravens, as you've seen on the indoor tour. We haven't done the inside doors yet um, because we're going to <coughs> probably put some accessories on the outside door. Possibly like a storage box this side and a diesel for that side. Mainly probably for water rather than diesel for when we're traveling. Uh, part you didn't see on the indoor tour yesterday or earlier on would be the pews. With, which got the Viking symbol, which is where we sprayed them to obviously make the internal doors. We're just coming back from a van festival and overland so it's still in night mode a little bit lazy this morning not to change it all back and on this side the side opening door with another window just over the other side of the kitchen on the roof can't really see on the roof we've got 200 watt of solar and the big opening roof light and the fan. And that is Luna. In this section of the door, ignoring the dodgy bit of floor in there we will be having a log burner so when we travel and it's a bit colder climates then we will then be able to keep warm and the diesel heater will go under the front driver's seat for when we're traveling thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please consider liking subscribing and hitting that bell it really does help us out and helps the channel so until next time, safe travels.